Spending the time remembering how to pronounce Japanese names. Ugh. Right. Hey everyone, it's AJ and today we are back with some manga and it's Monday. Ooh, manga Mondays. <laughs> oh, could I have manga Mondays and then we be Wednesdays? <laughs> also could I have fuck off Fridays for like when I play at Alice? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That would like never work. <laughs> but anyway, it's Manga Monday. Woohoo! <laughs> we have a thing now. <laughs> We're back to YouTube like five years ago where everyone had like alliterated names for like certain series. <laughs> like Trivia Tuesday and all that stuff. Although you still actually have that. So, like some people still do like the fan art Fridays and whatnot, so that's still a thing. But we don't do that here. We're doing Manga Mondays. <laughs> Oh, because I have been buying a lot more manga, because I have been obsessed with like watching like my manga collections on YouTube. It started off with the anime man. It's all Joey's fault. And then because I watched his, I ended up watch it get giving me suggestions of other people's. So then I would just watch theirs as well. And I'm just like spending like 45 minutes watching people go through their collections of like over like a thousand books. And I'm just like, Ooh. <laughs> Although some of them are better than others. I'm not going to name ones that are bad, but there was one that I watched and she literally just read the names. She didn't give any commentary about like what, sh what they wear or anything like that. It was just like, here's this. So if I did it, say for like my book, it's like, here's Food Wars, volumes 1 to 36, completed. Ruby, the anthology theories, 1 to 4. Completed. <laughs> First Ruby Manga. Completed. And that's it. Like, and then that was all that she was doing. Like, so she wasn't telling you anything about it or whatnot. So it was very open, and yet I still watched it because I was like, I want to see different titles and see if there's anything that would grab my fancy. Fun fact: nothing grabbed my fancy because mostly I don't know how it could grab my like make me interested in them if I don't know roughly what they're about. It's just like, I'm literally just judging a book by its cover, which is the worst. <laughs> it's like, any wee synopsis about it? Nah, all right, okay, cool. Why? <laughs> but anyway, going back to <laughs> where this all started, in Joey's one, anime man one, and I think it was his actual first one when he still lived in Australia, it wasn't like his recent one. Actually, I think it, although I think it still did pop up, was this one. Da 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 da. Stand count. So, it is a yaoi. I actually finally bought some yaoi. <laughs> oh, and also, <laughs> this one's got explosive content in it. <laughs> although, fun fact, not in this volume. There, this one's actually pretty sweet. It's literally tame. Although the cover would suggest otherwise. <laughs> also, how appropriate is it that like he's wearing a mask <laughs> in this current climate? <laughs> like, see if I seen this like a year ago, it would have been like, okay, he's wearing a mask. But now see like that, it's like, all right, cool, he's wearing a mask. <laughs> literally thinking nothing of it. Also, he's got gloves on as well. I've just realised that he's got his gloves on as well. <laughs> Our main antagonist of the story, Shiratani, has OCD and is a germaphobe basically. So that's why he wears masks and wears gloves and whatnot. So basically he works for like the president of this company and how it starts off as they basically came back from a meeting or something like that and they're like traveling and the president gets out to take a phone call, which then almost leads him getting ran over by a truck but then he was saved by a lovely guy called Krosi. So turns out Krosi is a, a psychologist basically <laughs> and he clicks straight away that lovely Shiratani here has OCD and whatnot and basically calls him out for why hasn't he decided to try and get help. Which then starts their lovely relationship of, I'm going to help you get better. Because Shiratani basically feels guilty that he couldn't grab his boss because he can't touch people. He barely can't touch anything. So, 
here comes Kurosawa to come and save the day. Woo! <laughs> oh, but it's quite sweet. Like seeing this one, like cause it, there's nothing like raunchy or anything like that, and it. it's not. It's the basically this is the build up of all the yaoi goodness that will be coming hopefully soon. <laughs> Also, this is like a six part series, so I may or may not have ordered the rest of the series after reading this. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've had a, like a wee, I've had like uh, moments of just literally just buying lots of manga recently, just like bought this and then bought others and then literally buying this whole series and just literally in one go. <laughs> I don't have a problem, you have a problem. <laughs> so yeah, so it's so the reason why it's called Ten Count is basically Kurose makes him write a list of ten things he wants to do but kinda like feels at the moment he, he can't do at the moment. Like easy progressions of like one is like easiest thing he could maybe overcome, ten is something he can never imagine himself doing. So he fills out the list but only gets up to 9. He doesn't fill in 10. Although, like, you know what 10's gonna be. <laughs> it's a yaoi, you know what 10 is. <laughs> I'm actually just gonna read the list off. So, number one is touch a doorknob bare-handedly because he wears gloves all the time. And see, because he washes his hands so much, his hands are like red raw as well. Which is like one of the reasons why Kurose knew that he had OCD because he was like, your hands are basically just red. <laughs> just red. <laughs> like, so chapped. Oh. So, I, so then it goes like, I also want to touch uh, one of my possessions, and then blah 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 blah. It all goes all the way down to number nine, which is allow someone else into my apartment. Damn, boy. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's lots of different wee things, like things that we would take for granted. Like, there's ones that's like going out to eat in a restaurant because. Even if he goes out to like a cafe or anything like that, he won't eat or drink because of germs. Because he's like, nope, contaminated. Nah, nah. So that in itself is like, it's actually a shame when you think about it. Like how this is how some people live their lives. And like actually this last most people wouldn't blink an eye at it. It's like, oh yeah, you're just opening the door. Aye, somebody coming into your house. Somebody picking up something that you own. Like, going to eat in a restaurant. Like, nobody really realises how other people could, like, you know, struggle with those kind of things. So this, in a sense, does bring to light about how lucky we are sometimes. That's actually just getting deep now. I'm just like, yes, the deep psychological... <laughs> the deep philosophies of 10 count. Basically, appreciate the fact that you, for the most part, probably have no issues dealing with all the stuff that Shiritani deals with every day. Or does. The artwork in this is really cute. Like, I actually love that. So, in the very first page, you get a coloured. But it's actually a landscape. Come on, camera. There we go. And... It's just beautiful. So, this is Kurose. This is Shiratani. But, damn. Honestly, see if this was coloured the whole way like this. Oh, I would actually love it. See, the, like, just these kind of blues and, like, colours. Oh, kind of pastel, like. Oh, nice. But the artwork itself is really nice. Like. But, yeah, it's very yaoi in the fact that it's just... It's just beautiful boys. It's beautiful artwork for beautiful boys. <laughs> oh. But no, it's really cute. Like, they they don't technically conduct the appointments, like, in the clinic. They go to a wee cafe and literally starts off immediately going, like, okay, so I'm going to spend all this time trying to pay off the bill very slowly. And you're going to start with number one. You're going to go open the door to leave the shop. <laughs> Barehanded delay it was like what <laughs> oh and then another one is like go to the bookstore and buy a book he tries really hard <laughs> and then like panics and then like you get like the the beginnings of all the cute wee yaoi things where like you're also like 
distracting him so then he's just thinking and like Shere Tani is just thinking about him so then he does just pick up a book and like goes like this one and it's like you just picked up a book and he's like I know <laughs> fuck <laughs> <laughs> it's like that realisation I was like oh no and it's like you distracted me you did this <laughs> no that was really cute but then like he sees like sometimes he goes a bit too far because there's, they try and go to a restaurant in one of the chapters, I think it's like chapter 5, I think it is. It's either chapter 4 or chapter 5. And like they try and go to a restaurant, but he has to go on a train first to get to the, the nice restaurant. Because they went, they decided to book a fancy restaurant because generally the fancier restaurants have higher cleaning standards, everything's super clean and pristine, blah 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 blah, to try and make it, you know, a bit easier on them to try and get used to going out to food. And he's all excited and he's actually like actually excited at the thought of that he can go out to a restaurant and whatnot if he can do it. But the train basically gives him a panic attack and like he collapses over the thought of it, just how dirty and grimy everything is. Like, cause he can't like hold on to like hold on to like the handles or anything like that. And also the train moves like you know what it's like standing on a train. So then Kyuraso has to like literally lift him off because he's like, right, what would you rather do? Would you rather fall on top of me or fall on the floor? Because obviously the floor is going to be absolutely, it's dirty as fuck. <laughs> so he's like, do you want to land on me? And he's like, yeah. So then eventually like he tries to take him off at the next stop. He's like, we're getting off at the next stop. We're not going to go blah, blah, blah. Like I've pushed you way too far. And then he actually lifts him out like, like, like bridal carriage like just carrying on like a bride because he's like this is like the least amount of contact that I can try and do with you because he's literally got him like out like so far out to try and reduce the amount he's touching because he says if he put his arm around him he's basically got like half his body kind of touching him and obviously his arm around him so how he's carrying him is only like touching kind of two spots oh it's a shame and like he takes him to the clinic and like Jiratani has no clue how he got there he's like where are we and he's like do you not know and he's like because he's just blanked out that much about like the stress of like what's happened but then it's a shame because then literally just as this basically happens Kirasase turns around and goes like yeah so basically you should not keep seeing me you should try these techniques with other people and it's like um excuse you um what do you think you're doing <laughs> and basically ignores them it stops phoning them they stop going for their meetings at the cafe because they were doing that weekly so then he, he shirtani asks like one of his colleagues to help him out and then they like bump into him by accident like they bump into him by accident because they still go to the cafe or Shirtani and his colleague still goes to the cafe because that's where he feels comfortable and it's safe and then out they come there's Kurze and then he goes oh it's great to see you're doing progress with somebody and he's like oh I can shake hands now and I can do this and he's like oh great well shake my hand please and then they shake hands and he's like the first and last handshake we will have it's like what that is how this one ends this is how this volume ends like no and then Shiratani literally breaks down in tears and then that's the end it's like like angsty fucking angsty yaoi man honestly fucking teasing <laughs> it's not good aye hence why I bought the rest of the series but it's I'm trying to think the problem when I've been reading this like the things I've been reading so far I just keep describing everything as wholesome because there's so many wholesome moments but it's it's angsty but sweet I, I don't think I would go as wholesome with this there's other things that are more wholesome like Spy Family fucking wholesome <laughs> that is so good <laughs> but sweet angst sweet angst slow build up kind of a slow burn but I think it's a good pace slow burn because you still get the teases of it of like you see like them getting flustered and you see Shiritai like basically questioning like 
how he feels about him and whatnot. And then you see Gersey basically being like, oh, fuck, I like you. I'm now running away. That is literally his response. It was like, flight or die. It's like, all right, okay. Oh, it's... See, reading at the end, I was like, are you fucking kidding me? This is not how this is ending. This is not how this is ending. Oh. <laughs> it is a sin. <laughs> but, so no, 10 count. First Yaoi. Well, first Yaoi that I bought. I should state that. I, I am not like a stranger to Yaoi. I've read Yaoi things for like a million years. It actually does feel like a million years. It's like well over a decade at this point, so it's years, damn it. Well, <laughs> like a million years. <laughs> it feels like it, but the cover is a wee bit raunchy. But like, see some of the other ones. Actually, I think it's the fourth one, and it's like the worst one. <laughs> and I can't believe I'm going to have to have that in my collection. But stuff that I want the story. <laughs> I'm already in too deep with mangas and whatnot. I might as well just go full on having the yaoi and whatnot. So, I've got the fucked up yaoi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's no more no more safe teen stuff anymore. Here we go. Here's the mature stuff. <laughs> so, we'll see where this goes. And then we'll see what happens with my other books when they arrive. Because, woohoo, two more manga coming. I've got lots of different things. I've got another yaoi coming. And then I've got a fantasy one that looks really, really cute. And both of them were actually suggested to me from Amazon. So, I'm going to see how it is. But I'm actually really excited for the fantasy one because it looks adorable. But also, I think it's going to be quite dark from what I'm gathering from like synopsis and whatnot. So that'll be for another Manga Monday. Woo! <laughs> Let's see actually how far I can make this Manga Monday thing go. <laughs> oh, and when I say Manga Monday, by the way, this is not going to be a weekly thing because mostly I do not have the money to keep buying mangas every week. I've literally just went off in a wee mini spurge because I still had some excess birthday money from last month. <laughs> That's really the only reason why. <laughs> I really shouldn't, but I kind of wanted to. So. <laughs> First of all, I'm on 10 count. One. Done. Oh, do you know what there should have been? There should have been 10 volumes of it. I just thought about that. There should have been 10 volumes of this. That would have been like perfect. 10 volumes for 10 count. <laughs> See the silly things that just amuse me, honestly, just the stupid wee thoughts, like, oh yes, a number series should have that number of books. <laughs> oh. oh well. Oh well, until next time. I'm AJ, I did something today, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!